Hello, and welcome to Outside the Thespian Window. This week, we are joined by two hot young actors who have starred in such films as The Spooky Spoon, X, there. amongst other things. Thank you for joining us. Welcome, gentlemen. Hello. Hello. Thank you for inviting us. Over. You're absolutely welcome. It's a pleasure to have you here. So, this is your second feature film. Mm -hmm. The first yes. one was the Halloween hit, Spooky Spoon, followed by a brief hiatus with the massive failure television show, Jog Shorts. Can you tell me what you have learned in the process of making these films? Um, it's hard, and you have to listen. You can't just do whatever you want. Because, like, there's a certain way the directors want you to do it, but and then there's also a certain way that you feel like it is right. And so you're kind of, like, stuck in between those. Like, which one mm. should I do? Should I do the one that may make it better? Or the, exactly the director wants to do it? Never let the director line read for you. It's bullcrap. Moving on. Your new movie, Ex Mover, is getting rave reviews. As of now, it has six up thumbs on YouTube. How are you guys handling the thing? Um, I mean, I'm just trying to stay chill, not, not letting the people bother me. Except for the people that break into my house. No, that's annoying. Yeah, yeah. I can imagine. Mm -hmm. Um, especially during quarantine, you know, I got a six feet away. Mm -hmm. Gerald, you look like you want to say something. I am... Um, it's kind of confusing, because before I was in the acting business, no one came over to my house except for the people I knew well. And now, everybody, I don't even, like... I don't even know them as, a, like, a slither know them. And they're like, We can't be so bad, and then I'm just trying to, Oh, like, what did they say? Like, they're trying to get me, like, to sign autographs. Oh, autographs. The worst. Gives you carpal tunnel. And, and like, I'm trying to, like, happily, like, enjoy my day in quarantine. Tragic. Tragic. Well, you guys have clearly been around the block and worked with excellent actors in the industry. Spoon. Spoon is yeah. very nice. Yeah, um, I like him. Spoon's a great guy. Spaceship in your most recent movie. Spaceship? Yeah, I like him. Spaceship, Spaceship's a good guy. Is there an actor out there that you're just dying to get to work with? Yes. Elaborate. Yes. Um, um, Jack Black. Jack Black. Excellent. Excellent actor. Have you yes. heard of the movie Jesus' the Son? No. So good. Not for children. Robert Downey Jr. Robert Downey Jr. Iron Man himself. Charlie Chaplin. Dr. Doolittle. Oh my god. American treasure. Yes. You hear that, Robert? He's coming for you. We're coming for you. What's it like working with the acclaimed yet reclusive director Bashful Dragon? I hear he's a handsome man. Is he as handsome as he is talented? Um, no. No, he's more talented because yeah. he's good at editing our films. But Great editor and director, but uh, he kind of lacks in, in looks. Lacking in the look department. Yes. I will let him know. Thank you. And... I'm assuming that these films have made you incredibly rich. Um, um, what message would you like to give to your regular poor old fans who are sitting in their houses during this quarantine while you're in your mansion doing whatever you want with all your piles of money? Um, I sort of just threw like a million dollars in my pool the other day and I swam in it. Um, Ooh, that must have been fun. What did it feel like? Money. Nice. I hate my master bed because... 
it's like it's annoying. Is it lumpy? Yes. You have a lumpy bed. Yeah. Incredible. So, um. Yesterday, I threw a bunch of toilet paper in the trash. Oh, you had too much toilet paper, and yes. we all know too once much. you open a package of toilet paper, it expires if you don't use it right away. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I just and I and I just use my hands. Don't, don't question me. Okay, moving on. Oh yeah, I only have I only have four MacBooks. Oh, like that's so nice. Terrible. Terrible. I see you chose a horse as your background screen. Could you elaborate on why? Are you into horses? No, not really, but they're pretty cool. I'm in I'm into dragons. Dragons. But I and I know that dragons eat horses, and I just want to feel like on a video that I'm taking. Well, care of this, of this lovely dragon's food before it eventually gets devoured and dies. Okay. Pet the horsey. Yes. Finally, what film would you say is a highlight of any film that you have ever watched in your entire young life? I would say it chapter two. I love that movie. It's funny and it's scary. Both at the same time. Yes. Incredible feat. Mhm. Mm Incredible. Yes, you have great feet as well. Yes. Gerald. Incredible feet. Um, I gotta say. Um, what are the Marvel movies? Anyone? Um. What about the unreleased version of the Fantastic Four? Terrible film. Terrible film. And I think in my Christian favorite is just gotta be Endgame. Endgame. Beautiful. Endgame's good. Endgame. Well, we'll be signing off now. Is there anything you would like to say or add that I haven't asked you? Um. Great answer. Yes. Thanks for joining us this week on Outside the Thespians Window. Next week, mega hit, superstar, Tom Hanks.